On the outside, books appear to be simple objects, but on the inside, their words have the power to transport us to new lands. Museums may appear like ordinary buildings, but step inside and you'll find works of art that can set your imagination ablaze. If you look carefully and closely, you can discover magic in the ordinary. Want to give it a try? Let's open up the museum, just like we open up a book, and start an adventure. Hello, my friends. I'm Marie, a children's librarian at Oceanside Public Library. I get to share stories with all types of people. Do you want to hear one of my favorites? It's about a man who got stuck looking at a painting for 200 years. Sounds strange, but it's true. Let's start at the beginning. Once upon a time, there lived a man who saw the world in a very ordinary way. Every building was an ordinary building. Every book, just a simple book. One day, something caught his eye. It was a stone, but not an ordinary stone. Its bright light beckoned him forward. That stone was followed by another, and then another, leading him to the Oceanside Museum of Art. Inside, he met strange and remarkable characters. A giant bird that shimmered orange, yellow, and red. A group of travelers made of sticks and stones. A tree that did not grow from a seed, but appeared to hatch from an egg. And an unusual twisted figure with emerald green eyes. He muttered, How very strange. As he turned the corner, he was happy to see a more normal scene. It was a painting that featured a group of kids. Ah, now there is a more ordinary setting. But as he looked closer, the tone and mood began to shift and change. The mysterious scene flooded his brain with questions. What are they looking at? What color is that? Orange or yellow? Wait, where are they? And hold on, are their eyes closed? This is not an ordinary story. The questions raced through his mind until he became quite stuck. Excuse me, are you finished looking at the painting? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. How long have I been here? Five, 10 minutes? A lot longer than that. Some folks say 150 years, but I'd say it's closer to 200. You're basically a legend in this town. This realization, however, did not stop him from looking. People from near and far tried to get him unstuck. The cobbler, the baker, even the candlestick maker. Excuse me, monsieur? Allo? But no one could break the spell. Why are you still so stuck? It's this painting. It's not ordinary. I mean, where is the setting? I've never been to a place like that. And the mood, I can't figure out how I'm supposed to feel. And don't even get me started about the plot. I mean, what are they looking at? I think I know the problem. You look at the world in an ordinary way. Try and think more like an artist or author. They take the ordinary, add a little magic, and make it extraordinary. Add a little magic? make the ordinary extraordinary. Perhaps you need help from children, kids around their age. As a matter of fact, third grade students will soon visit the museum for literacy through art field trips. Maybe they can help you. Marvelous, but how? Remember the shimmering stones that brought you here? Yes, of course. Let's use the stones to magically send the painting to third grade classrooms across Oceanside so they can have a look. Ready? One. One. Two, three. And now third graders work together as a class to help Mr. Ordinary get unstuck. Be sure to bring all your ideas when you visit us soon at the Oceanside Museum of Art and the Oceanside Public Library. Thanks for listening.